because I believe passionately the theatre should be reopened. I mean, my life's been entwined with this theatre, so have the lives of three generations of my family. My mother started the, the children's theatre, I wrote plays for her and I'm still writing them for the children's theatre, and my three children have all been involved. One of my daughters is now business manager of Marion Street Theatre for Young People. Theatre will always be a relevant art form because it is the basis of storytelling, professional storytelling. The essence of theatre is when you have an actor and an audience member or multiples of both working with each other, exploring things in real time, in a real place. That is the most deep and satisfying way of storytelling that I think you can get in the professional area not film, not television, but in theatre, the actors and the audience members are there together at the same time, in the same place. Everyone felt as if it was their home. The actors, the audience, they were greeted by name, they met friends there, they knew the theatre cat. And theatre's such a joyous experience. I also know that with my children's plays going on over a number of years, I feel it a huge privilege to have brought generations of children to their very first experiences of theatre. It's a great privilege and it's very satisfying. It will serve a diverse community, but it will also attract people from outside to come to it and that can only enrich the theatre that Marion Street is the heart of. Absolutely! This theatre is my home and where I've grown up. I also have a small family theatre company with one of my daughters and some of the plays there are dying to be put on at Marion Street Theatre. There's one in particular which is historically based around something that actually happened at Marion Street Theatre on the land where it was 200 years ago. I am dying to see that happen at Marion Street Theatre. So yes, yes, yes people who know about theatre, who are practitioners or who have run theatres, a few of those, it needs to be diverse I think, there should be a counsellor, definitely. There need to be people who can liaise with the community and listen to the community and there also need to be people who know how to keep their tabs on the money, the money coming in and the going out, because theatre will always need to be subsidised by its community. Every time you as counsellors meet, you listen to a prayer that says, may we remember that the decisions we take tonight affect the lives of everyday people. Now, that is what I congratulate you on doing. You have started that process and it needs to go forward so that you can produce something with the community which so passionately values its theatre then you'll be doing something very special, a different sort of model for the ways governments can work with their community. So go for it, we're right with you.